Welcome, Welcome to, to Colmar and the beautiful Alsace region of France right here on the border with Germany. And this town looks like it came straight out of a storybook with its half-timbered beautiful houses and its charming canals. You'd be forgiven if you thought you're in the middle of a, Gr of a Brother Grimm's fairy tale. So we're gonna explore the cuisine and the charming architecture. Let's go. Okay, so this canal flows down from the Little Venice region of Colmar, which is just down the stream here. And like the real Venice in Italy, uh, the merchants built their houses alongside the canal and they used boats to go up and down to uh, deliver their, their goods. And the colorful houses were used to identify what trades the individuals had. And for example, if it was a blue house, then you knew a fisherman lived in that house. And also like Venice in Italy, today in Comar, you could take a, a, a gondola ride, a boat ride, up and down the canals to see the beautiful sights and the beautiful buildings lining the canals here. All right, so if you want to take a, a ride on the canal on, in the boats, which I highly recommend, it gives you a great vantage point to see the, the city at the canal level on the water level, then come here and look for the giant rooster. And it, um, um, you can, um, for eight euros per person, you can do about a 30 minute boat ride along the canal. And it's very scenic, it's very picturesque, and it takes you out kind of out of the city as well into kind of a little more remote uh, area. So it's a very nice, very nice ride. I really recommend it. So eight euros and look for the rooster and take a boat ride on the canals of Komar. All right, so the canal cruise is it's a nice way to, to spend some time and it's only eight euros per person. So it's very relaxing and it's uh, very cool to see the canals down here on the water level. So yeah, I definitely recommend taking the canal cruise here in uh, Komar. All right, so we have to duck underneath this bridge for our gondola cruise. It's a pretty low bridge so we'll see how this goes but we gotta get down there check it out it's pretty low Betty's crunching down <laughs> oh. uh, here we go uh, all right <laughs> I made it. Tart flambe, ham and cheese, and then we have with a little bit of goat cheese on there. This is supposed to be the best place in town. We are Comar, France. Bon appetit. Mm. That is really good. Bon appetit. Okay, so if, you, if you've never had tart flambe or flamkuchen, it's a specialty of, of Alsace. And it's kind of like a very delicate thin crust pizza without tomato sauce. It has cream fresh on it and some different toppings. But, so I think it's like probably what pizza was like before they brought tomatoes back from the new world. And so there you go. It's very delicious and something you have to try in Alsace. And some uh, some whipped cream and, and some nuts. Perfect way to top off your meal here in Comar and Alsace. Life is sweet.
Okay, so one of the most distinctive houses in Komar is the Fister House, which was built in 1537. And this was the house of a wealthy merchant who really liked to decorate on the outside so everyone could enjoy it, but also so they could be envious. He could show off all the money he had, I guess, but it's pretty spectacular. And now it has a nice wine shop on the ground floor. You can go in and get some delicious Alsatian wine. Alright, so this is St. Martin's Cathedral and it was built in the 13th century. It's a stunning example of Gothic architecture. It has one lone bell tower and inside is quite stunning as well. It has some very beautiful stained glass windows on the inside so you have to come in and check it out. It's free to go in and walk around so uh, yeah, when you're in Komar you have to go check out the St. Martin's Cathedral. Okay, so this is this building is called the House of Heads, and uh, because of all of the heads and faces adorning the uh, outside of the building, it was built in the early 1600s, 1609, I think, and uh, it was a merchant's house. It served as the uh, the burgermeister's house or the mayor's house, also a customs house, and then finally, if you look at the top, there's a statue of a barrel maker up there. And uh, one of its last functions was that it served as the wine exchange for uh, Komar. So the House of Heads, now there's a nice restaurant inside, so come check it out. It's a very, very beautiful building. All right, so this house, which was built in the 15th century, is where the famous sculptor Frederick Bartoli was born. And he's famous for creating the Statue of Liberty, which stands in New York City. So if you know Lady Liberty and you're a fan of uh, the Statue of Liberty in New York, you can come here and now it's a museum so you can visit the home of Frederick Bartoli, the man who gave us the Statue of Liberty. Alright, so this is my favorite bakery in Komar. And the first time we came here was about 12 years ago. They have a lot of delicious treats inside and they speak good English. So step inside, grab yourself a treat. Okay, so this was the center of trade for ancient Komar. And right behind me, you have the customs house and basically all the trade coming into the city it was a center for a major for many major european cities trade would come in and out of here and when it came to the city it would always come here first the customs house it would get taxed and then it would go out to where it was going from here and if you look at this beautiful square it's lined with these beautiful half timbered buildings and over here to my left we have a statue that was built by bartoldi who was the same guy who built the Statue of Liberty in New York City. And he's holding up, it kind of looks like maybe the Statue of Liberty's got his right hand up, this person. But he is holding vines that were brought back from Hungary. And so here you go, it's a beautiful day in Komar. All right, so we have a wine tasting here. We have some local wines. I have a Riesling, we have a Gewürztraminer, and a uh, Cremant, which is a sparkling wine, similar to Champagne, but it's not from Champagne, so we don't call it Champagne. But anyway, so I have the Riesling. It smells nice. Cheers. Cheers. You know, on a nice sunny warm day, walking around, that first drink of nice cold white wine hits the back of your throat. Oh my gosh, it is so good. This Riesling is really dry, it's really good. Mm. Cheers. All 
All right, so this is uh, Colmar's um, historic market hall, and uh, this building was built in the 1800s, and it's been renovated fairly recently. And inside, they have uh, uh, a lot of nice places to buy produce, to buy uh, you know groceries, things you need for your house. They have wine tasting. They have a couple cafes, a couple bars, so a lot of locals will be in here buying this stuff for their daily needs. It's really cool. We're going to take you inside and show you around. Let's go inside the old market hall here in Kumar. Alright, so like virtually every uh, city from the Middle Ages in Europe, Komar also had a, walled, had, a, had a wall for protection around the city and this is basically what's left of the old medieval uh, wall and you can see the moat is basically right underneath me and it runs straight down to uh, the little Venice, the petite, the petite um, Venice if you will. So right here is our medieval wall. and. Kumar. All right, so always trying to be environmentally friendly here in Europe. And you look, we have this apple spritz. And look at our straw. Not plastic, not paper, but pasta. How you about that? Good for the environment and good for you. Oh man, that is unbelievable. It's called Hoxen in Germany, but it's a pig leg, lower pig leg. This is roasted. It's kind of smoky, very tender, very delicious. And here we have some um, sauerkraut. I forget what they call it in French, but it's uh, sauerkraut with the different meats. And then we have uh, Flammkuchen. Tart flambe, I believe it's called in, in French. So we have it, our Alsatian feast. Bon appetit. Okay. All right, look at that. It just falls completely off the bone. You touch it with your fork, it's gone. So the <clears throat> the sauerkraut, the chocrut, I think it's called here, is made um, and it has a little twist. It's, it's made with the local Riesling wine soaked in the sauerkraut, so it's very good. And then we have the five meats and a little horseradish. So you put the horseradish on your meat, and mix it with some sauerkraut. It is very delicious. Bon appetit. All right, so it's time for dessert. And I have a Kugelkopf, which I think means ball head in German. And uh, it looks good. Got some, oh, look at that. It's like ice cream. It's like ice cream with like a cake around it. And a little bit of whipped cream. Mm, mm. Mm, some vanilla sauce. Mm, it's fantastic. Mm. Alright, so this is the Cafe Alsatian. And oh, it has like a hard bottom and you punch it. And it goes down in there. Mm. Oh. It's a very hot, some sort of alcoholic drink down at the bottom. And it has like a hard bottom separating like the coffee and the whipped cream, but I punctured it with my straw, so that's gonna kind of mix in there. This is a very interesting drink. It's quite, quite delicious. Mm. Wow, that's good. Wow, look at that. That's interesting. 
Oh, it's really good. I don't know what it is. It is really good. Mm. You gotta try this. Okay, so we just had a delicious meal at Le. Won't even say it. Uh, but uh, it was fa excellent, fantastic. Um, had the, um, the the pig leg, the Schweinehaxen, as we would, as you would say it in German. Um, we had the Schokrut, which is like sauerkraut with different meats, and we had Flammkuchen, which is tart flambe, I think, in French. And then we had dessert, had coffees, had a bottle of wine, and a really truly excellent meal. It's my birthday, so it was a great birthday meal, and here in Comar, and it's a beautiful evening, so yeah, it's a fantastic way to spend your day. All right, so oftentimes in the Middle Ages, standards of measurement was not, uh, standards of measurement, they weren't standardized from place to place. And here in Komar, they had their own different uh, system for weights and measures. So when uh, tradesmen would come into town bringing goods to trade, they would have to determine what does, what did each city use for its length of measure. And here in Komar, here in this building that was built in 1419, up above me, there's a figure who's holding a stick and basically that was the length of measure that was standardized here in Komar. So they'd have to determine what standards they were using whenever they come into each city. Komar's fairy tale charm, rich history, and delectable cuisine make it a perfect destination for anyone looking to experience the magic of Alsace. Whether you're exploring its picturesque streets, delving into its history, or savoring its local flavors, Komar offers an unforgettable adventure. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more travel adventures. Be sure to turn in next Sunday for more adventures in Alsace.